All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. We're not gonna be really working on my car or anything. It's gonna be a and a video. So we just recently hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my content. It really means a lot to me. I love making these videos for you guys and the fact that you guys subscribe and watch the videos constantly is just a really good feeling. So thank you guys for that. So pretty much this is gonna be a little quick sit down video. Hopefully it's not gonna be crazy long. I just wanna do a few questions and answers. So I actually asked on my Instagram, which go ahead, follow that by the way. Uh, I post daily content on there. And then also posted on a community post on YouTube also for questions so that you guys could send me questions. So I got quite a bit of questions, a lot of questions, a lot of different questions too, which is good. So I just wanna go ahead and answer those for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so I think we'll start with the Instagram questions first. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into that. Let me go on to Instagram. All right, so it's been about 23 hours so far since I asked you guys to send me in questions. So let's go ahead and go on here. So let's just answer these one by one going from top to bottom. Or maybe should we start from bottom to top? Let's go from the bottom to top. So I'll go ahead and show up the screen recording of each question. Okay, so the first one is nice car. So thank you, man. Thank you for uh, liking my car. Um, the next question uh, from Warren D. Costa 48 is will you be installing a carbon fiber front lip and diffuser? So currently the diffuser that I have on right now is just matte black and I'm actually getting a a front lip uh, that is matte black as well. Maybe down the road, um, once I get sponsored, I'll get some carbon fiber stuff, but for now, I'm just doing the basic matte black. So yeah, eventually, hopefully down the road, I will be getting some carbon fiber stuff. The next question is the from the Italian Coppola. I hope I said that right. By the way, guys, if I'm butchering your name, I'm really sorry, I'll try my best. But he said, what kind of suspension are you thinking about doing on your F30? So that's actually a good question. So a while ago, I actually posted a picture on my YouTube community tab, actually showing which suspension I got. So I got H&R Super Sport lowering springs, but for some reason, they haven't arrived, and I checked, and I never got charged, so I'm assuming that maybe, like it didn't go through, I don't know exactly. So maybe it just didn't go through my payment. Um, I've been waiting because I'm not sure how long it would normally take. It's been like a month and a half, to be honest, so I should probably check on that. But yeah, for now, I'm doing H&R Super Sport Lowering Springs. And the next question is from K Rodrigo 289 He says, after the wrap, what are you thinking of doing to the F30? So after the wrap, Hopefully I'll, I will get some new wheels or I'll paint my wheels. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Definitely some more exterior mods. I definitely do have a few other exterior mods coming. And then eventually once I do most of the exterior stuff, I will start focusing on engine mods. Engine mods later down the road. Um, I want it to still be relatively reliable while looking good. Uh, so before I start pushing power, I just wanna make sure we're all set with like maintenance and stuff on this car. So for now, we're just doing the wrap. Um, the next question is, are you planning on making merch soon? From Matthew Morocco. Um, so I actually have my decal store where I make decals. I can make custom decals. I have other decals pre-made for you guys. Eventually, I will start making merch. I'm not sure what kind of merch I'm gonna start doing just yet. So far, the decals actually have not been doing that good. So it's kind of like leaning me to wait longer before I drop merch. So maybe around 10K, I'll drop some stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see for the merch. Give me some ideas. I don't really know. I was thinking some like air fresheners, jet tags, that kind of stuff. Um, so let me know, guys. Next question is from 03 Dylan says, would you ever buy a Mercedes? And if yes, what car? Um, to be honest, I don't know much about Mercedes um, at all. I, I like G-Wagons, to be honest. The G-Wagons are pretty nice. But to be honest, I don't see myself really getting a Mercedes unless it's like a G-Wagon way, way down the road. I, I just can't see myself getting one right now. CJE92 says, congrats. Thanks, man. Um, ben Visual says, what is your goal with the F30 build? So the F30 build, the goal is to make it look really nice, presentable for pictures. I wanna make my Instagram uh, page more about my car, as well as like a mix of other people's cars, just, but I wanna focus it more on my car right now. And then hopefully uh, push 400 horsepower. That's most likely what I'm gonna be doing. 400 horsepower, maybe 420, 430, 440 horsepower. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. I just want it to be nice, reliable, uh, and look good at the same time. CJ Nina 2 says, again, congrats again. What would be your absolute dream car? Um, my absolute dream car, to be honest, I really like the 2020 Audi R8s. I really, really like those, the, the newer R8s. I like the newer R8s. Um, the older R8s are still really nice, but I like the newer ones. So hopefully, uh, if everything goes well, I will be getting a 2020 R Audi R8. Not, not soon, but way down the road. That's like my dream car, so. How do you feel about AMGs, LOL? Love your vids, keep up the great work. Thanks, man. Like I said, I don't really see myself getting a Mercedes ever. 
uh, unless it's like a G-Wagon. It's just not my style. I, I think of them as more of like strictly luxury cars. Obviously the AMGs are like the sport versions, but I just, and I can't see myself getting one to be honest. Hopefully that answers your question. Do I study something? So I actually used to go to college. Um, I was switching my majors all around. So I was a history major and then I went into business major and then I just stopped going and I actually moved to Europe. And then ever since I moved to Europe, uh, once I came back, I started doing more of YouTube stuff with Noor and then now I'm doing my YouTube and so I'm trying to focus mostly on that and I also work on the side. What was the biggest struggle? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest struggle of YouTube is being consistent, trying to stay consistent as possible, pushing out good videos, like great videos. It's really it's just hard to be consistently making good videos. I'd say the biggest struggle was definitely uh, way back in like January. I had a rough time with YouTube, just struggling with like everything, trying to balance everything. And then I finally found like a good balance of everything. Uh, so my biggest struggle was definitely being consistent. And that was my lovely girlfriend, by the way, who asked that question. So. <laughs> Peter, Peter Bielinski, 37, says, what about detailing content? Have you thought about testing detailing products? So I kind of have been shying away from detailing and focusing more on my photography. Um, I find more enjoyment out of my photography than detailing. I have thought about doing that stuff, um, just maybe down, down the road. I've been trying to work more on my photography as of now. And then maybe down in the future, uh, I will start doing more like product reviews. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. Asim Ahmed, Asim Ahmed. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, he says E90 or F30, definitely F30. I've had an E90 before and an F30 and F30 completely is way better. Obviously it's more expensive, but uh, for me, the E90s are kind of outdated. They're not really outdated, but compared to an F30 and all the features an F30 has, I'd much rather have an F30. Walid BNK, I, I'm sorry. I, I know you've messaged me a lot in the past. I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. Um, will you do an E60 build? Um, maybe in the future. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of 5 Series in general and E60 is definitely lower on my list for, an, uh, for a 5 Series build. I'd much rather do like an F10 or an E39 compared to an E60. Uh, maybe eventually though. I love you Marco says, grow mustache please. Um, I actually used to have a big beard when I lived in Europe. I will actually, I'll throw up a picture of what I look like with a beard. I'll throw up a few pictures. I think it's hilarious. I don't think I'll ever grow a beard or mustache ever again. Um, it's just, it's, it's not me. It, does, it doesn't feel like me at all. So I will not be growing out a mustache again. <laughs> dream BMW to own one day. Mm, my dream BMW to own one day would be a, either an F, one of the F80s. So like an F80, F82 or F87. Um, I really like the secure orange, so definitely secure orange, and it has to be manual. That would be my dream BMW. Uh, anything with the S55, so it would have to be an M2 comp, to be honest. So if I do get an M2, it would have to be the comp, because I want the S55. That was by Beamer Bry, by the way. Bjorn Stad As? I don't know how to say these names, guys, I'm sorry. He says, can you come to Norway for some crazy winter pictures and drift diesel winter car? That would be really fun. I will let you know when I'm in Norway. Uh, Shad Majib says, what are some plans for your car? And I love your vids. Thank you so much for watching, man. And some of my plans for my car, I already said it in, the, uh, in a previous question. I just wanna make it look pretty and hopefully push a little bit over 400 horsepower. Arvind V says, are you going to get LCI tail light? That would definitely be one of my last exterior mods I would be doing, so, Hopefully, yes, just way later down the road. NK Stir says, what's the fastest speed you were driving in a car? <laughs> um, I haven't pushed any car crazy. Uh, the 135, I did go like 150 miles an hour in. So mom and dad, if you're watching, just pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah, I did go like 150 in the 135. E. Razine says, dream old school BMW and dream new school BMW and dream car just in general. So dream old school BMW would definitely be a slammed E30. I just love the E30s. Dream new school BMW, definitely an F80, F82 or F87. And dream car in general, 2020 Audi R8. Favorite BMW you've owned till today? Um, Either the 135 or the 335, probably the 335. I really like the 335. The 135 is special, but the 335 is just like, that's that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? That's like my baby right here. So definitely the 335. Irazine says again, future mod list on your current car. Pretty much just making it look crazy, insane on the outside, exterior, and 400 horsepower for the power. James Griffin 11 says, how did you and Norm meet? So that's actually a good story. Um, quite a few people asked me that, I think. Uh, but pretty much me and Norm met when we were six years old. Actually, I was like, I was getting close to turning seven. He was six. We were actually neighbors 
uh, we moved into houses across the street from each other at pretty much the same time and we used to hang out like literally every single day we would run each to run across the street to each other's houses and just want to play all day uh, we would play with like toy cars we would play video games we would play outside basketball that kind of stuff and then in high school i think ninth grade is when he moved to where he's living right now and at the time i was still living here and we didn't really have cell phones so we couldn't really like text or anything and so for like two years we didn't really talk that much we were still friends but we didn't talk that much then we started playing video games together like call of duty uh back in like 10th 11th grade i think we started playing like call of duty together and then uh after that um, that's when i started going after like high school we started hanging out more in person uh because i got my driver's license he got his driver's license obviously we got into high school but we just didn't go to each other's houses that often um but now we go we hang out a lot and we do youtube together so we do car stuff bmw stuff so yeah that's how we met that's kind of like a backstory so if you guys were wondering yeah aj187 says what's your dream car my dream car is audi r8 aj also says how did you get into bmws nor was always into bmws when we were kids every time we would play hot wheels every single bmw he got he would trade me for them he would give me ridiculous trades on the hot wheels we used to trade hot wheels all the time he always traded the bmws for four bmws and i was like okay well i'll get some other cars all right guys so my camera battery actually just died so i'm gonna try to pick up from where i left off he would trade for the bmws he would give me really good deals on trading so i got all of his other cars he got all the bmws and then eventually i just got into bmws rumen rumen tariq uh what are your future plans for the channel and for your car shop slash pro um my future plans for the channel keep making great car content i try my best every single day guys to bring out the best content for you guys so that's my future plans just keep bringing great content stuff that you enjoy um trying to mix it up a little bit with more photography stuff hopefully you guys like that because i really like that so um for my cars just make it look really crazy insane on the outside and then uh nice and fast and then for the shop um that's a whole another story i don't really want to get into it right now i got a lot of questions asking about the shop pretty much let's just go i don't maybe i should just should i just explain it i'll just explain it so pretty much uh the shop um nor just recently left the shop for pretty much the same reasons that i'm going to be leaving the shop so like what nor said on his video if not go check out that video the people we're in the shop with just don't have the same goals as us um we wanted to make the shop youtube oriented they wanted to do their own business which is completely fine but it's just not working out properly it's not just it's just not compatible we'll be eventually getting a shop down the road and then we'll find a good shop that will work for us just the two of us we don't want any more people coming into the shop this is gonna be me and nor so yeah well aaron says you should do a giveaway for your decals for free for first 12 dm for the first 12 dms you get bro for 5k subscribers bro um, so maybe i'll do something of a giveaway with the decals not too sure yet but good idea man little aaron also says do a merch drop for 5k uh subscribers bro just like how nor did it with 100k i would do that i just uh it's a lot of money to buy merch and to sell merch and everything and so, so maybe around 10k subscribers i would start taking it more seriously with the merch i just got to make sure you guys would like the merch and would actually rock the merch because right now with me selling decals nobody's really bought it so it's kind of sad but it's okay go check out my merch down below <laughs> go check out the decals down below bmw e9335 i says why did you choose the f30 over the e90 slash e92 um, the f30 just has a lot better options uh the e90 i've already had like the e9x chest e8x chest and it just feels kind of like outdated to me like it's obviously great it's a great great car and uh, i like the look of the f chassis more and the features as bashi bashir ahmed 786 says when are you getting married <laughs> um i don't know man i don't know yet <laughs> you guys will probably find out eventually when i do get married the same guy says are you muslim no i am not nor is though for you, those of you guys wondering d sharky says who was into bmw's first you or nor nor was definitely into bmw's first i remember when the e90 first came out in 2006 he got like a model car of the e90 he's like i will one day get one of these i remember him specifically saying that i was like okay yeah cool you know get get a bmw and at the time we were just like little kids i think we were like nine or ten and he was saying that and it was just really cool so he was definitely into bmws first and then he kind of like pulled me into the bmw scene mode underscore dot mm says do you plan on doing an m sport steering wheel conversion at any point eventually down the road that is one of my later mods that i'm planning on doing i'm fine with the steering wheel i have right now it has paddles that's all that matters um f32 pickle says what's the hardest part of wrapping the car yourself what should others avoid doing 
The hardest part about wrapping is just making sure you don't get any dirt underneath or any bubbles. It's definitely better with two people. It's really hard to do it by yourself. Uh, we are definitely not professionals by any means. I am not a professional, nor is definitely better than I am at wrapping, but he is not a professional either. We do it for our own cars. We have fun with it. And we can give a few tips. The biggest tip I can give is definitely just use a clay bar and clay bar your car before you do any part of wrapping. Otherwise, you'll get little dots and it just looks bad. So definitely clay bar your car. So yeah. Those are my little tips. Definitely just clay bar your car. Mo Hama Axa. I don't know. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, man. He says, what is your dream car? My dream car is a 2020 Audi R8. E90 Beamer says, uh, what are your plans in the future in general, like with YouTube? Ooh, sorry. Focus. He says, what are your plans for the future in general, like with YouTube and your life? So with YouTube, my plans are to keep making car content, uh, mostly BMW content. Maybe down the road, I will venture off into a different car car brand but for now I'm sticking with BMWs because I like them with life I don't know I really like photography um, kind of just like doing my own thing uh, definitely want to do my own thing uh, 90 trick junior says how economical and practical is your 335i or is it smiles per gallon so it is pretty economical I would say um, right now I average like 23 miles per gallon so I definitely say it's more on the economical side for power wise I think it's uh, 300 horsepower stock so 23 miles per gallon for 300 um, horsepower that's not bad in my opinion and I do drive it hard every once in a while I do put it in eco mode a lot like when I'm on the highway it's an eco mode sport mode plus <laughs> it's really nice I'm not gonna lie. I like the verbals I like the verbals I like the way it sounds <laughs> so yeah I think that's why a lot of people uh, you know drive fast cars because they like how it feels how it drives and how it sounds and I like how my car sounds so uh, Jan Kovalchuk says what program would you recommend for editing photos or videos so what I use is Final Cut Pro X so Final Cut Pro 10 and for videos I use Adobe Lightroom Classic so those are definitely my recommendations Trevor Lee says future plans for the channel just to focus on car stuff whatever I like to do try to make sure that you guys enjoy the content while I enjoy the content at the same time Panda E90 says how did you get into working on car? I actually went and just volunteered at a mechanic shop. The mechanic that my parents would go to, and it was an older gentleman. He was very kind to let me uh, volunteer um, and teach me how to work on cars. So I actually did learn a lot in the three months that I was volunteering there. Sometimes you just gotta put yourself out there and uh, learn something new. Like I didn't get paid for it. I literally drove like 35, 40 minutes, two days a week to learn how to work on cars because I wanted to learn how to be better at it. So sometimes you just gotta put yourself out there. Army Vet F30 says, what's next after the wrap? Any more exterior mods coming? How about engine mods? Mostly focusing on cosmetic stuff first and then I'll start pushing more horsepower. So hopefully that answers your question. All right guys, so that's all the Instagram questions uh, in 24 hours. So definitely go follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna do be more involved with the channel. I heavily use Instagram a lot, a lot, a lot. I use Instagram every single day. I actually use it more than YouTube, believe it or not. So if you guys wanna stay updated with what we are doing, me and Nor, with our YouTube channels, uh, go follow us on Instagram. Like That's like our outlet to get to actually reaching out to you guys. It's much easier than trying to reach out on YouTube because I can actually DM you and I make sure I DM everybody. Like I try my best to get back to everybody. So definitely guys, go follow me on Instagram. Ask me a question. If you guys need help with something, let me know. I will do my best. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the YouTube. Um, community tab and we'll pick some questions from there uh, there were there weren't as many questions on here as uh, as on Instagram but I'll go through them this says 22 so there's 22 questions Dom G scuba Steve that's a great name by the way <laughs> how do you like that it's just kind of hard to say um, not really a question just saying Norn you got that TJ and Calvin vibe thing going I like it excited for the next chapter of the new shop thanks man uh, thanks so much for watching this thank you for that compliment it's actually a compliment if you believe it or not it's a compliment uh, thank you so much for saying that the next chapter of the shop is gonna be great It's just gonna be a few months down the road from now But we will keep making content our homes whatever we're doing I'm at home in my own home garage right now, but I do go over to Norse house. Oh gosh, there's mosquitoes it's starting to get late We do love making content. It's really fun. It's like our thing to do. So thank you for watching it really means a lot Cody men Menacini asked what my dream car is so my dream car 2020 Audi already I think I've said it like five six times now, but might as well you guys know. <laughs> Any ideas on what you might get after you're done with a 335? So, I would like to get an M car eventually. I do like BMWs. Obviously, my dream car is an Audi, which is kind of weird 
some might say, but I just like the 2020 Audi R8s. But for the most part, on everything else, I love BMWs. Um, so my next BMW, hopefully an M car. I'm not sure which one just yet. Glory Guy says, any dream location where you want to go in your dream car? That is a good question. So, um, oh, actually, definitely dream location. If I could do anything, I would definitely take it to, uh, I would want to take my car on the Autobahn in Germany and also the Nürburgring in Germany as well, the racetrack. I would love to do that. that would, that's totally a dream of mine. Why didn't I think of that before? But yes, that's totally, totally a dream of mine to go on the Autobahn with my car from America, transport it over, drive it on the Autobahn, drive it to my home country of Hungary, meet my family over there in my dream car, and then go to the Nürburgring and everything. That would be so cool. I would love to do that. Oh my goodness. Driving my own car on the Nürburgring, that's a dream. That's, that's definitely the dream location. A glory guy also says, how you and Nor become friends? I already answer that so pretty much we were neighbors mr j says what do you think of the uk car scene so i actually have traveled to the uk london specifically and i stayed with some people and one of the guys was actually a car guy and at the time um he had like had a multiple cars i think he had like a golf gti or something like that and then he had like a civic type r and then he actually bought a bmw x5 suv diesel um, and so he was taking me around London and that, and that was really cool. Um, so I do think it's pretty cool. Um, I just wish their laws were less strict because from what I've heard, um, only one person can drive one car for like insurance reasons. So for your insurance, nobody else can drive your car except for you. So I believe it's whoever the name is on the title is the only person who's like allowed to drive it. I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, you guys would definitely know better. I do actually have a lot of UK subscribers, so definitely answer that down in the comments for me, guys. That would be really cool if you guys could clarify that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching from the UK. Aaron Okoni Ukaiwa, Uk Ukiwa, Ukaiwa. I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. He says, or do a giveaway. Oh, you already said this. Oh, so this must be little Aaron. Okay, I see you. Um, yeah, I would probably definitely do something. I'll probably do a giveaway. Um, I do plan on doing a giveaway soon. I'm um, not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I will eventually do a giveaway. Myron Flores says, thank you for taking the time to answer questions from us, G. I got you, man. <laughs> he says, how did you get into cars, specifically BMW F30? I mean, like in general. And lastly, what tip can you give someone that started fixing their own car like you. So I think I already talked about how I kind of got into cars. I kind of got into cars because of Nor. Um, we play like Need for Speed, Most Wanted, and I remember the M3 GTR, the E46 M3 GTR, that was like our dream car as kids. We would like, every time we would play Need for Speed, Most Wanted, we would want that car. So that's probably what got me into cars, to be honest, that video game, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, with the E46 M3 GTR with that crazy blue, uh, white and silver livery, I believe, with like the huge wing. That is probably what got us into cars, specifically BMW. Glory Guy also says, what work do I do? So I actually work at a golf course part-time while doing YouTube. I do try, I'm trying my best to make YouTube my full-time job, but uh, it does not pay the best, believe it or not. Um, so I do have to have another job in the meantime until I can get to the point where I can start doing YouTube full-time. So definitely guys, like, share, and subscribe to the video. It would definitely help me make more content, make more consistent content, because I do struggle with being consistent. That is one of my biggest struggles, is trying to stay consistent. It is very hard to do and takes a lot of money, believe it or not. Almost all of the money I make, I put right back into YouTube. Acidic says, I hope you and Nora can work together on a project car. Um, hopefully down the road, we've actually already talked about it, hopefully down the road we will do a project car. So definitely stay tuned. Um, hopefully we will get a project car. Sharif Yusuf says, favorite mod under $50. I think the favorite mod, my favorite mod would either be the roof wrap, even though it's more like 60 bucks. I would say probably a roof wrap or maybe kidney grows. You can actually upgrade your kidney grows for pretty cheap. Um, I actually do plan on doing that soon for my car. So probably kidney grows or roof wrap. Prince K says, what do you think of Audi? I actually really like Audis. I have an Audi dream car, so I do like Audis, um, just the R8 though, I don't really like the other Audis. I like the TTRS, um, but for the most part, just the Audi R8. Ethan Naidu, Naidu says, um, okay John, what was your favorite car you ever owned? So my favorite car that I ever owned is either the 335 or the 135. I really like the 135, um, I just didn't like the N54. It caused me a lot of problems. I know a lot of you guys like the N54, but I'm not the biggest fan of the N54. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. So probably the 135 or the 335. Aaron Lays, Lays says, can you do a meetup sometime with you and Nora? It'd be awesome to meet you guys. It would be awesome to meet you guys too. So we definitely want to do a meet soon. Um, just with like the COVID things, we were planning on doing some meets this summer, 
but like I said, COVID, this kind of ruined a lot of things for us. It made it very difficult to do things. Once we get our new shop, maybe around that time we will do a meet, or maybe in December, hopefully we could do some meets. I would like to do that. It would probably be in Sacramento because that is where we are from. We live in Sacramento. If you guys would be willing to come out to Sacramento, we would probably do a meet over there. So let us know if you guys would actually come down to a meet. Crack Kaka says, are you 100% sure your car is stock because it looks like it has a tune on it? I'm pretty sure my car is stock. Um, I don't think there is a tune on it. If there is a tune, I don't know about it. Uh, I don't know if there would be any way of me knowing about it at all, but I don't think my car has a tune. I think it's stock. Axel Martinez 9 says, why are you guys leaving the shop? I kind of already answered that. Different, uh, multiple different reasons. Pretty much we just want a shop, me and Nor having our own shop, YouTube oriented. That's pretty much the main reason why we want our own shop and why we are leaving the current shop. Matej Small says, what are your life goals? I kind of already answered this. Um, pretty much just want to be working for myself. Pretty much I just I just want to do my own thing in life where I work for myself doing business stuff tons of different stuff that I like to do so pretty much an entrepreneur in a sense but right now I'm just trying to do my best with like YouTube and photography Axel Martinez also says how much was the 335 I don't know if I actually mentioned this but I got the car for 12 1200 250 1300 250 that's probably bad that I don't remember exactly I'm pretty sure it's 1300 250 I think that was like the price I got it down to I can't remember 13250 um, with like taxes and registration, everything was like 15000 13000 I think it was 13250 and then taxes and registration, it's like 15000 like right around 15000 So that's how much I paid for the car. I am financing it, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Avendra Narayan Sami says, where do you work and what do you do? So I work at a golf course, pretty much right down the road from where I live. That's about a five to 10 minute drive. So I do work at a golf course, but I also do YouTube and photography. And so that is all the questions I got, guys. Thank you so much for sending in the questions. Um, it means a lot to me, believe it or not. Just your guys' support, constant support means so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. We definitely gotta do a meet soon so I can meet some of you guys. I think that would be really cool. But without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely would help me out. Definitely would help out my channel. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. Our next goal is 10,000 subscribers and then so on and so on. So thank you guys so much for helping make this dream a reality. It means so much to me. Anyway, guys, remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that BMW. I will catch you guys later.